Hello everybody, today, as you were as the title, we're going to be talking about the doggies and just showing you them and just talking a lot about their breeds and stuff. Okay, they just got out of the kennel. Hi babies, ha ha hi. Oh, very sweet puppies. Hey King. So if you don't already know, this is our Great Pyrenees, Lance, and this is our German-Australian Shepherd mix, Izzy. So we're just gonna be talking a lot about their breeds today, their training, Lance's guarding, and stuff like that. Everybody's over here. We actually had some nice chicken eggs this morning. We got a dozen of them. Hi, baby. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna go over is Lance's guarding around the property. Over here we have this wolf pee, actually. Right here, it's actual wolf pee, and we spray it around the perimeter of the property. So Lance will go around peeing around the property, thinking that there's another animal trying to come around his property and get the chickens or something. So that pee kind of deters like possums and things of coming over. We've had Lance for about three months. And since we've had him, he no chickens have been killed or taken by any hawks or anything like that. Also, another thing with these dogs they may look int intimidating, their bark might be intimidating, but they're really sweet. And they're basically like gentle giants. Izzy's gonna get a lot bigger than she is now. Lance is definitely gonna get bigger too, so. We've actually been feeding them peanuts, which are also really good for dogs. So we have Izzy sit, and then we have her look right at us. Look, good girl. That's a part of her service dog training. Sit, look, and we make sure they do it on command. Sit. Good boy. Shake. Good boy. Great Pyrenees also likes to use their paws a lot to paw at you to get your attention. Okay, so now to talk more about the breed, if you guys wanna know. The Great Pyrenees size is an extra large, so he's considered an extra large dog. Right now he's still a puppy, but he is gonna get a lot bigger than he is now. Is He's right here. But he is gonna get a lot bigger than he is now because he is only six months old. He's still practically a puppy. Adult males, according to Google, ad average 100 to 110. But his dad actually weighed 130. Here's a picture of him. And estimated Lance is probably gonna weigh about 132. The average Great Pyrenees says it's 31 inches, but I'm guessing he's gonna be taller than that because of his size now, just at six months. He's probably gonna be a lot bigger than that. Males usually average to 85 to 100 pounds, but his mom, I think, weighed a little bit more than that. They're all right here. Look, good boy. And the females, they also average 28 inches in height. There have been reports of them weighing up to 160 pounds and more also. But again, his dad was 130. Also, when they wrestle and stuff, we prefer to put them outside to do that. Because it's a lot better for training and stuff, because you don't really want them bumping into anything, but they will wrestle on the house too. And we put them outside to protect the flock and stuff for from any hawks or anything like that. Also, with the Great Pyrenees breed, which, which is Lance, the breed's so old, they have been fossilized, and experts think the breed goes back thousands of years. They were actually used to um, haul artillery in World War II. Also, the breed may look very intimidating, like they have a super deep bark, but they're all, but they're actually really sweet and nice. One of the reasons why we have Lance is because he'll bark at anything. So if like a possum or something tries to come get the chickens or the birds or anything like that, he'll bark and it will just scare them away. Right now he hears something. It is actually our neighbor's chickens, but he doesn't know what that is. Here, buddy. Also, some facts about them. They're affectionate, strong-willed, gentle, fearless, confident, and patient. The average price of a Great Pyrenees is $1,000, $3,000, but that can range a lot. So. We got him a lot cheaper than that, though. But this dog is definitely worth every penny. Very good guard dog. And the Great Pyrenees is definitely a dog we recommend. A lot of people will shave their Great Pyrenees in the summer. The Great Pyrenees are double coated and they have a soft wool like undercoat. It helps insulate their bodies in the summer and in the winter. And for the Australian Shepherd, which is half of what Izzy is, 
if anybody was wondering, this is what Izzy's dad looks like, and then this is what her mom looks like. The life expectancy is 12 to 15. They weigh average to 50 to 65, but I think Izzy's gonna be around 80, 70 to 80. Usually, according to Google, 20, 20 inches to 23 inches is their height. They're also known as herding animals, so they'll herd sheep or a flock or anything like that. Aussies, which are Australian shepherds, also can serve as police dogs as well as the German shepherd, which is that's what they're both really known for. So Izzy's going to be a service dog, so she'll be really smart for that. They're also known for being a great, nice family dog. They also love to do work, um, learn things, and just hurt animals and just do a bunch of stuff like that, as well as the German Shepherd. So she has both of that in her, so she's gonna be extra, basically what I'm saying about all this. They also have been around since the 1840s, so pretty long time. And again, with she's half German Shepherd, so both those things, herding and a great family dog and just being a good police dog and surface dog and stuff like that. And also exercise for the dogs is very important. They usually do it by wrestling. Sometimes they'll just run together outside. And it's really good for them. They do this every day, usually for fun. I put them outside when they do this though, like I said. Also, Lance has been noticing the hawks. We have had a lot of hawks swoop down and sadly get some of our chickens and birds and stuff like that. So we have Lance and no hawks or anything. Nothing has got to the chicken since we've got them. Also with their food, the packing order basically, if you have like a family or something, you always want to have everybody feeding the animal. If there's just one person or two people in your family that are feeding the animal, that can be a problem. Just make sure everybody's feeding them. And also what you can do instead of giving their food and just like a bowl, which sometimes we do, but we can, we also do, we put um, pieces of kibble in a pouch and throughout the day we'll give them each piece so they know the food comes from us. Also with Izzy's training, Lance isn't doing everything but he's we're trying to teach him how to do stuff like that. He's the type of dog that doesn't like going on a leash or he won't, he's not like a dog who will go to the dog park or anything like that. Izzy won't be going to the dog park but we, we're gonna take her places. Like we can take her to a store or something like that. But Lance, he knows how to shake, lay down, look. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna have the dog's attention on you at all times and not just like looking anywhere else. So if you want to take your dog somewhere and you have them on the leash, make sure they're looking at you at all times and focus on you and not focus on anything else or any distractions. The food they eat is puppy chow, even though Lance doesn't really look like a puppy. He's still a puppy, but let me show you what food they have. And here's the food they eat. It's Diamond Naturals brand. It's for large breed puppies. This one's the lamb and rice formula, so I definitely recommend this kind. Lance is also very nocturnal. He's a nocturnal breed, so he sleeps a lot in the day. He's kind of a lazy boy, but in the middle of the night, he'll get up and he'll just walk around the house, make sure everything's good and patrolled. He'll go to each room and just look out at everything and just make sure everything's all good. Izzy will usually go with him. Right now, they're actually napping right now. They usually just play and then nap and then play and then nap. They just do that like all day. So this is him getting brushed down. Also the geese, we have them too to kind of protect the chickens partly. They'll flap their wings and stuff if a hawk comes. <laughs> then we'll kind of deter the hawks a lot. It's little June, hi June. So that's basically gonna be it for today's video. There's gonna be a lot more Great Pyrenees and the German Shepherd Australian Shepherd mix content and I'm gonna keep talking about more of that and a lot more videos and stuff like that. And yes, that's it. Bye everybody.